Alright guys, let's do... Alright, I'm going to do... This is like my second or third attempt. I'm messing with a new program uh, so I can do screen records. I was asked to go over the program that I use for my uh, my macro or my calories, how I count them per day and the fat and the carbs and protein. So this is the program that I use, fitday.com. Um, I've been using this one for a while. Uh, there's a lot of, if you Google it or look for apps on your phone, there's a ton of different programs. I would just say find one that works good for you and you're comfortable with using and that's the one you should stick with. I would say don't start one and then go to another one because this guy used it and go to another one because this other guy used it because you're going to get really sick of changing programs and it's when you first start doing this it's a real pain in the butt anyway so I would say just find one you like stick with it uh, I've heard a lot of people say this one's really hard to use and then I've got a lot of friends that use uh, my fitness pal they really like it say it's really easy I've never used it um, I started using this one a long time ago and now I, I know how to use it it's set up with all the foods that, that I use so it's really easy for me to use now. It was a bit of a pain in the butt at first to set up. But uh, we'll just go over it real quick here. Um, I've already got all my foods entered for the day. They weren't in there before because I was recording a screen. And the recording didn't work out right. But we're trying it again. So anyway, this is what I've had today. Uh, down here is the total. 1,540 calories. I guess I shouldn't. If you're watching my pointer, that's why I mean by down here, follow the pointer. 1540 for calories, 70 grams of fat, almost 71, 39 grams of carbs. I'm really low carb today. Today's not a training day for me. Uh, today was just some treadmill. I went in and walked on a treadmill for a half an hour. That was it. So there, there's no reason for me to be blasting my body with carbs. I've had 198 grams of protein, or I will have. I haven't had this last right here on the food name list. You'll see where it's cottage cheese. That's what I eat before I go to bed. Um, I haven't had that yet, obviously. But everything else I have. And one thing it makes it easier to use, once you've done this for a few days, you can come over here to the left side of the screen and you'll see where it says food browse, recent foods, and custom foods or recent foods that's everything that I've eaten pretty much in the last I don't know four four or five days so when I'm setting this up for the next day like here I have this is elite but that was just the protein powder I was using at the time now I just use that no matter what protein it, it gives me an idea they're not all exactly the same but they're they're pretty close at least the ones I use so say I was gonna have another shake I would just click elite and then it'll reload the page every time it adds something to your food list and you see now and down here at the bottom that's on there but I know I'm not doing another shake so I'll take that back off so I don't forget and these X's if you put something in by mistake you can take it back out really easily uh, food servings you can change your servings to grams kilograms pound ounce uh, I know some stuff like if you get into fruits it'll say you know medium large and small uh, and here you know I had one serving and this is a custom food that I've set up as you see this custom food tab this is a lot of the supplements and stuff I've taken uh, you can click cr uh, create custom food name it whatever you want to name it go by the label put in the macros for whatever serving and then there you go one serving I know that's one scoop uh, here's my eggs. I eat six whole eggs, so it just says egg omelet or scrambled eggs. So I, I put in six. If I had three, then I'd put in three. You know, you just click on it, change the amount, same save changes, and you can see now it's gave me the rundown on three eggs instead of the six that I have. I have six eggs every morning for breakfast. Um, not always six whole eggs. Sometimes I have uh, three whole and three egg whites, and it, it all depends. A lot of it depends on how I feel. But um, 
I, I like my fat to be a little bit higher, especially since I'm in school. It's uh, it just helps your brain activity a lot. I also take fish oils and, but that's that's for another time. Right now we're going to focus on this. Uh, down here, when I scroll down the page, you see a pie chart. I try to look at this pie chart as a plate, and half my plate, the protein is this color over here on the left. Half my plate is protein. That's the way I like to keep it. Um, when I train a little bit heavier and um, I start eating more carbs, I, I go for just the rule of thirds. You know, a third of your plate, carbs, a third, uh, a good healthy fats, you know. I, I And it, it's worked out well for me. I'm not saying everybody should eat that way. It's just how I do it. Um, this program is free. Uh, there is, a, if you look up here on the little tabs, you know, you, there's calendars. You can set dates and reminders, and there's a journal and weight goals, and you can track your weight. There's also an activities tab. We'll go into this. I don't use it. Um, I track my that other, all that on something else, which I might do some other time if somebody wants to see the other websites that I use. But this one here, you know, like I'll just click on running and see what it does. So I click running, and here, oh. Now it's going to break it down into, well, let's see, I run, well, I don't run, I walk. Let me find walking. Uh, okay, walking. We'll see what this says. And it's not going to give, like, the walking on a treadmill. Walking 2.5, walking 3.5. We'll just go walking 3.0. Um, well, we'll do walking 3.5, walking for your wrist 4.0. I walk at a 4 on the treadmill, but we'll say 3.5 just for it's a treadmill, not outside. And I think this is going off of outside. Um, and here you go. Uh, you set in the time that you walk. Let's say I walked this morning. I walked for 30 minutes. Let's see what the save changes. Just see what the... Oh took me back to log in no problem just means I've been dinking around on this page not changing anything try this again there's the walking is still up maybe it wants me to do it like that so I'll put in 30 minutes it doesn't like that <laughs> Oh, excuse me, guys. I apologize for that. Oh, it's because I it wants it in hours and minutes. Obviously, I didn't walk for 30 hours. So 30 minutes of walking burned 135 calories. I could, you can also track by miles. I think when I'm walking a 4.0, at treadmill says something like a mile, 1.3 or something. I don't know. Anyway. So it says I burned 135 calories. So there you go. If you're if you're wanting to see how many calories you're burning a day, maybe play with this and count up. You know, I'm sure it has walking, running, biking. It has all kinds of stuff. And then I'm sure you could. I don't know. Let's do something funny here. Watching TV. We'll see what the activity search says on that. Sure enough, watching TV, lying quietly, sitting quietly. So you could you could figure out your day. You could play with that and figure get a get a basic idea of how many calories you're going through in a day. Um, but there you go. That's the program that I use. Like I said, there's a bunch of different programs out there. Um, also, I think I forgot. It, this is the same as we just did on the act, activity search, food search. Um, if there's something like when you first start setting this up, you're not going to have anything obviously in your recent foods. So say you want to just do a hamburger and I spelt it wrong but uh, and this thing's gonna be picky on spelling there see hamburger it even has you know Burger King McDonald's so and you don't have to add it to your food log you can look at it first so here we go I'm just gonna look at it this isn't adding it and it says one item but you could break it now it breaks it down unless you're gonna weigh your McDonald's burger but Let's say you only had a half of a McDonald's burger. 
Well, there you go. So anyway, guys, there you go. And uh, that's the program I use, fitday.com. And thanks for watching.